Hello everyone and welcome to this brief tutorial on how to use our Formec 686 vacuum thermoformer. So when you walk up to the machine, this is the main power switch. You'll turn it on and you walk around to the back of the machine and there is a red on switch back here. Turn that switch on and then come to the front of the machine, which will take a second or so to start up. Once you get to the machine, it should say initialize, click this. You should see the table drop to the bottom of the machine and then you should be presented with the front page here. So to select the program, you're going to hit the gear icon and if you're in uh, one of the classes, you're gonna pick the ENGR320 program, uh, but for anything else, uh, press this program and then hit the return button here and return again and then you should see on the main screen, the number of the program and the name of that program. Um, this button should be turned on if you want the automated heaters to run and then to start operating that program you're going to press the play button. Uh, then because we want to operate this in automatic mode we want to press the top row here and this brings us to the control screen. So we want that on. This shows us our program time and this gives us manual control right now of a couple operations like updraft, uh, vacuum, blowers, which we do not have, um, air blast, and to move the table down. So to start, you're going to press the two buttons uh, here on either side to bring the table up. I'm going to do that. Okay, so now the table should be at the top of the machine. Uh, you're going to find a, the tool that you make and place it on the table. And then you're going to open the frame on both sides. Watch that this does not hit you in the head when it opens. Okay, so now uh, that's difficult with one hand. So now this is open. Once you place the tool, you want to drop the table with the tool on it down by pressing this button. That'll move the tool down uh, in the machine. You're going to take a piece of material and place it so that it seals around the aperture opening here. Okay. Then you're going to press the frame closed, clamping on both sides. Uh, and then you're going to pull the heater tray forward. That should start the program, and you should know that the program is starting because the timer will be counting down here. So we'll come back when that timer has finished. All right, so the program is almost ready to finish, so we're getting down to uh, the, the time here. So before you start the program, you do want to make sure this auto is on. That'll make sure when the table raises, the vacuum automatically comes on. Uh, so you're going to hear the machine beep when the program uh, finishes. And then we're going to quickly push the heaters away uh, and make sure that the plastic is hot enough. There's the beep. So we push the heaters away and if we bounce the machine, you can see how the plastic kind of jiggles. That means it's hot enough. Press both buttons. That'll raise the tool and it will vacuum form. All right, so once it's done vacuum forming, you should let it cool. You want to let the vacuum stay on for a little while while it's cooling. And then we can click this button to bring the table down. This button would do a blast of air, um, but if the part is still hot, that could deform the part. So we'll, we can try that, just a quick blast of air. You notice when I do that, Right, but if the part is still hot, that could deform it. So you want to be very careful about using that. And then we press down, which moves the table away. So now the table is moving down under the, the, the uh, plastic there. And then we release here and release here. And that comes up. Do that with two hands. It's tough when you're holding the camera. And then you can take your part out. And be careful. The plastic still could be a little warm. Um, and in this case, the tool is staying in the part because there's no draft angle on it. Uh, good luck.